looking at important headlines from the hindu newspaper for 21st december on the front page you have seven killed as protests against citizenship law turn violent in up so home ministry says there will be no discrimination against muslims and undocumented people but the violence has continued across the country and here at least seven people have been killed in up so these are the status of protests presently we have been seeing violent protests in hong kong as well for more than 5 months now but still there has been one death so far and we have seen front page news of deaths every day now in these protests then here you have no clear winner so this is regarding jharkhand elections so exit polls have been conducted you can see voter turnout for all the five phases is shown so the results will be out but this is what the exit polls show that jharkhand janmukti morcha would get maximum seats followed by bjp then this is sengar gets life for unnav rape so this is former bjp mla kuldeep singh sengar who has been uh, sentenced uh, to life imprisonment for uh, raping a minor girl in up in 2017 this is the unnav rape case the victim her father was died in police custody then her uncle was also sent behind bars the lawyer and her aunts who were fighting for her the car in which they all were traveling were met with a severe accident in which her aunts died then finally she was uh, set ablaze and she died of a burn injuries and in this case now you can see the conviction has come on page 5 you have massive preparation for jnk investor summit next year so jammu and kashmir administration has embarked on a massive preparation to organize jnk global investor summit 2020 to attract investors to the union territories of jammu and kashmir and ladakh where buying land was restricted earlier but now it is not. on page 10 you have updating of national population register put on hold in kerala so npr national population register is been updated in states west bengal had put out it on hold and now kerala government has also decided to put the proceedings for updating npr on hold because of apprehensions that uh, the update would lead to preparation of nrc national register of citizens which the central government wants to implement on page 11 you have army to sign deal for six apache attack helicopters so these are six apache attack helicopters for which we will sign a deal in early 2020 so it is actually uh, an extension of the purchase which we have already completed so original deal is for 22 apache apache helicopters so out of these you can see the first batch has already been inducted first batch of eight apache helicopters and all 22 apache helicopters will be delivered next year and now we are asking for six more so this is through uh, through the exercise of an optional clause in the original deal that more helicopters are being purchased so we also have russian helicopters apache is us mig helicopter so these apache helicopters are actually going to replace the russian mi35 attack helicopters in service on the editorial page the first editorial is vidhar amravati so this is regarding the new capital which andhra pradesh government former andhra pradesh government was planning to build in amravati but, but then there was a time for the idea for three capitals andhra pradesh but it is long past now is what this article editorial talks about So Amravati has already begun development as a capital for Andhra Pradesh, but the present government, Vice Jag Mohan Reddy government, has hinted that they want three capitals in Telangana, in Vishakhapatnam, Amravati, and uh, and uh, Kurnool. The on the lines of uh, South Africa, which has three capitals in Pretoria, Cape Town, and Bloemfontein. So Pretoria became has is the legislative capital, then the judicial capital, and then the executive government capital. So similarly, uh, Andhra Pradesh wants for itself three capitals. But this editorial is arguing that time has long passed for it because already previous government made so much investment and initiated the process of developing a single capital at Amravati. and this is net loss so this is regarding disruption of uh, connectivity 
so you know the internet connectivity has been shut down in delhi and other states also so disruption of connectivity should be resorted to only in the face of specific threats is what this editorial is arguing because to curb protest the government stops connectivity internet connectivity so that is a huge cause of concern we have seen net connections down in jammu and kashmir then in northeast and now even in delhi and other states so that protests don't take place and they don't spread then the lead article is the virtual effacement of civil liberty so this is regarding how the judiciary needs to determine whether the executive has provided a reasoned order when it directs an internet ban so this is again on the same issue it's a rights issue and this is premature denouncement of the citizenship act so this article argues that uh, citizenship act has been denounced even before it has come into effect so but then uh, it says its critics must appreciate the need to bring closure to the consequences of religious theocracy in india's neighborhood so all those who are suffering from religious theocracy in india's neighborhood should be uh, allowed citizenship rather than specifically talking of particular religious communities so all persecuted should be welcome no discrimination in that is what the argument is then on saturdays you have ground zero coverage on the opet page so this is regarding the ra colony where uh, metro train car shed is proposed to come up so this says a metro line in search for a car, sh- car shed so new government in maharashtra and the chief minister udhav thakre has stayed the work on the car shed for mumbai's metro line 3 and search for has begun for a possible alternative so uh, the this debate on development versus environment is covered here so there are say vare protests which are taking place here in mumbai then on international page you have parliament backs johnson's brexit deal so mp's voted 358 to 234 to pass the second reading of the brexit bill brexit deal as such so a speedy timeline for final ratification comes forth now so british parliament has approved it this is the withdrawal agreement bill then this is because eu also has to agree to it now so that's okay. then on business page you have panel okay's spectrum auction plan so this is digital communications commission which has approved plans to auction 8300 megahertz of spectrum including airwaves to be used for 5g services with a reserve price of 5.22 lakh crores so this auction will take place in 2020 so this is there and this is regarding operation twist which we saw yesterday after operation twist in which government bonds were you know uh, the purchasing of long term securities and selling of short term securities was undertaken by rbi it was named operation twist it was our government securities so after this uh, it is said yield on government bonds has dropped and this is to aid monetary transmission so that is it these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you